Hey guys, what's up? It's Omar here. I'm at my studio in Los Angeles, just spending a great weekend making music. I'm actually working on that uh, new track right now. I'm super inspired. And I said, why not do a quick video for people who are interested in getting into music production or beginners. So I'm going to show you how to do a track from beginning to end. It's a quick video that I hope uh, you'll find this helpful. All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, I'm going to now show you how I work on a track. Like I'm going to show you the process of writing a track, you know. So I start with a kick put on a bass line, start working on some of the grooves, you know, adding pads and so on. So this is a track, this is a work in progress track that I am just started to work on a couple weeks ago. Uh, starting to have some nice shape now, so I'll show you how I start. Okay, so usually I'll start with a kick, right? Easy, you know, you just put on a kick, you play around with it. And I like the fellowish kick, you know, not too hard, just a nice kick, just to get this vibe, tuck, tuck, this proggy vibe I like. So I have the kick first thing. That's the first thing I do. Second thing, I'll work on the bass line. So see now, tan, tan, that's the usual bass line that I like to do. A tan, tan. couple notes, you know, just to give it a nice groove, you know. So now you have a kick and a bass. Right? So that's usually how it will go through. After that, after I work on the, on the bass line, I'll start adding a little bit of a groove just to start feeling what the track will sound like, right? So let's track some here. So here's a simple, just perk, you know, very simple, nothing there, it's just a simple perk. Some, uh, what I call fast hats, sounds. Now we have a clap. It's all of the groove, you know, it's just adding groove, clap. Extra hat, another hat, shaker. I like, I love shakers. Uh, extra hat again, you know. So now I have a groove. I have a kick. I have a bass line. I have a. Kick. Now I start working on the atmospherics, like whether it's a pad, whether it's a hook, and what I'm gonna do for the breakdown. So let's see what I have for. Uh, the pad. So here's the pad I have for this track so far. Uh, like very spacey. That's what I like in music. You know, I, I like very spacey music. Deep 7 a.m. sounds. I like that. So I'll work on that for a bit. You know. The next thing I work on is the hook. So let's go to the part where breakdown will sound like. See, I started adding a little bit of a synth. And you have the melody. That's the melody I have so far. Very like, again, very spacey. So yeah, so that's it. That's really how you write a track. Uh, you know, it's it's not hard. I think for for anyone who wants to start music production, the first thing is uh, uh, like learn what you're gonna use, whether the DAW you're gonna use, whether it's Logic, Ableton, you know, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, I spend in the beginning some time learning Logic. You know, that's what I do now. I'm in Logic uh, Pro X. That's how I started. Uh, once you learn the DAW, you're gonna start working on your sound. So when I was living in Miami, that's really when I would aspire to spend more time in the studio and write music and really find my style, which is the, that deep sound that I like. And after that, you just 
try to become more creative. You know, the, the difference between uh, really good tracks and good tracks is that small. It's just that last 5% on how detailed you are, you know, like how creative can you be in that last 5%. But uh, the music now sounds similar. It's just basically the attention to detail and making sure that, oh, you have that extra piece that really make the track special, you know, whether it's a, a hook, whether it's an atm atmosphere, whatever it is. So yeah, so that's uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, maybe I'll do something in the future if you like it. Uh, make sure you follow me on the social media. I'll put the links in this video. And uh, maybe I'll do something else, you know, maybe another track or another uh, quick studio jam. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you.